hello everyone! This is Angel Terror here with some more Free Knights to Skull of Smackdown. When we last left off, we were continuing through the tower. Benjamin got his butt kicked, but we were able to bring him back. And we met uh, the one guy, Wolf, what's his face? And found out about a very deadly skull on the top of the tower that was modified to make this very nasty death ray that apparently the people of this tower decided to test on Wolf's Bane's party members, which was, oh, it's so disgusting. But anyway, when we head back in, we're going to be continuing to go up the, ta uh, the tower because apparently what Wolf's Bane also said that there was a gener- oh, he's not there anymore, all right, well, whatever. Um, there's a generator that powers the skull, and it works on the levers just like how we had to uh, use the levers to remove the magical barrier to get through this part. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> Alright, we have to get rid of these small ice elementals because they're toxic. Let me do. Level 1 What is this one? Beefy. Ooh, okay, so I can actually. Ah, uh, I can make it do more damage. Very interesting. Okay, it's good to know. Uh, let's see, can we put you to sleep? Yes, good. I don't have one of your little nuggets doing that dance. Done. Holy crap, Chloe. Holy crap, Chloe. I must not have been paying attention if you got hit that damn hard. Then you have crap for hit points. Oh, come here. Up yours. Howdy, girl. Ow. Can I put the imp to sleep? Yes, good. I'm not messing with Where's my boiling oil? Eat that fry, boo. Okay, so that's what when you get that one thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we learning, we learning, we learning. We always learn a little at a time. Wow, everybody got stuck there. Oh, I think I can cast that. Yes, I can. Holy crap, that's all I have to say to that. These guys are getting painful. I don't know where I can get better armor or anything. It's more the ice elementals just stun me like a bunch of A-hats. Oop, booby trap. Acidic face melter. Okay. So it looks like if you use a tool once, it disappears. Damn it, that sucks. Balls. Oh, that's annoying as hell. Basic spellstone, immediate spellstone, and fusing acid. Oh, do tell me, what is the fusing acid? We don't care about this or this. But wait. Rogue tool jams mechanical components. A few drops of this acid on metal trap parts serve, serves to fuse the items together as if joined by great heat. Good for jamming some trap components, particularly internal mechanisms and triggers. Oh, right? What do you have? Okay, you don't have any other... I'm just gonna give you two. Let's give you these things. Oh my good gracious, people. This is hard as hell. I'm not lying. Anything to find? Nope. <sighs> crates. These crates are almost empty except for a small wrinkled note that says Moonshadow sends his regrets with these replacement parts for the destruction engine. Next time, make sure all technicians are well beyond range before test firing the skull. See now, what's interesting is this is saying Moonshadow's a male, but when we look in our journal it calls Moonshadow... Wait, is it called Moonshadow a female or a male? He provided. Okay, excuse me. Moonshadow's a male. Large crate stack. These crates are entirely empty, but you notice they are labeled Destruction Trigger Engine and numbered 1 to 5. Whatever was in here was used to construct something big. Okay. 
Small crate stack. These crates are all marked destruction engine power regulator. Please consult manual. It's always good to consult your manual before you mess with things. Booby trap. Dart trap. Okay, I disintegrated the tension wire. Regulator manual, intermediate spell stone, potion of resist acid, and vision. Potion of vision. What do we got here? The book is handwritten and titled Scroll Regulators for Dummies. It contains detailed instructions on turning on, shutting off, and maintaining some device called a skull regulator. It also warns about operating the device without first attaching a ferrocrystal energy sink. The manual also mentions some vague information about how the skull no longer functions as it once did and may be dangerous to operate without being hooked up to the regulator. Hmm. Because with these, you're always thinking, like, can I use this on, like, the bad people? One second, everyone. Ooh, sorry, had a cough there. Okay. No booby traps. A bunch of imps, but I always didn't want. Okay. Sorry, I was just, like, stopped to think for a minute. Alright, so I definitely want, I think the first thing I want to do, I'm going to do a mass light trickle. And then you do a, what is mass gas? Let's try this, mass gas. Oh, of course it just sounded like I barfed, so sorry about that sound. <laughs> I wonder, if I do mass gas, and then I do mass evoke snoring. You're awake back there. See, the problem is it doesn't have different icons. So, and I can't. Oh, two is awake as well. I mean, one, excuse me. So telling the difference on who's awake and who's not is a little difficult because they all use the same damn icon. All right, these other two idiots just woke up. You to sleep, so you have to you have to constantly keep your eyes down here. Ariana has been incapacitated. Oh shit! Oh, she just went. She just had enough to resume. Sorry, she just had enough to go down, and then she just got back up again. Okay. <sighs> what to do? What to do? I got a healer. She's my fire. All right, you. Rid of you, excellent. If you're in a situation like this, make them fight, even if they're going to uh, poop out. Because you don't want to die. Okay, holy crap, nuggets. Let's do a second win on Benjamin. I do not like his stuff that low. Especially when he's my healer, you know. Okay. So what do we got here? Any booby traps? No. What do we got here? A dusty box. The lid... Uh, excuse me. This box is about one quarter full of a very fine dust. A, do a note attached to the lid says, Test subject remains, number three through six. Please do not dispose of this by checking contents out window this time. Oh my god, that was the people. Oh, game. You are messing with me. It's terrible. It's terrible and knucker futs and disgusting. Yeah, I don't want to ruin anything for you, honey, if you're not playing it. Okay, so that stairs up. What is else around here? I don't think anything else. No. It says the floor below it has a way to stop it, I thought it said. Hmm. Map, you are crap. Okay, 
Okay, that's the way back. Alright, that's the way back down. Sorry, guys. I'm just like... Okay, so I gotta go this way. I'm not happy to. I'm actually get. This is when I get a little bit like... I don't want to say nervous, but sort of nervous. Like, because you know there's this big nasty trap up there. Booby trap. Electrified door. Well. Damn it. Ow. Well, that sucked. See, it only seems to zap Dirk. So definitely make sure he gets the stuff that he only takes half damage from traps. Because you're going to need it. I check everything. Magnetic attraction. The party finds themselves pulled in through the door literally and face to face with an ugly stone like entity that exerts a powerful pull on all of their metallic gear. A small ferocious golem. Wow, you're new. Alright, so first off, we need a cheat sheet on this booger. Now, let me think here. You gotta hit with the right roots. That allow me to hit you a lot more. Ah! Uh, we have mass hasten. It's mass gas, mass hustle. That's what I want. Because I have a feeling this my sister's weird. Please don't matter. Um. this. Come soft and weak. Excellent. Alright. So we want to soften it up. Well, on the bright side, at least it's not a damn rust monster. <laughs> there we go. It expires messily. Okay. Oh, okay. So when we open it, it drags this into the wall. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Just need to see what I'm doing. Oh boy. So I do still need the basic spell stones to do that. Okay, now we know. Now yeah, there's all my money on those damn things. Just gonna stab you to death. Perfect. Rest again. Alright. So we got a door there and a door here. Uh, let's go this way. 
Anything? Nope. Crystalline attachment, potion of negligible healing, and a liquid nap. Short sword, nobody cares. Some liquid naps. Ah, you do. Alright, now what does this say? This is a crystalline object wrapped in copper and iron. It has a large plug on one side and two latch grooves, which indicates it is supposed to attach to some machinery. Or is a really, really ugly piece of jewelry. put all the stuff with this machine together on her. I don't know why those don't go together. Okay. One moment. Ugh, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Ugh, frog in my throat's nothing nearby. Anything in here? Nope. Another door, good joy to the world. Booby trap! Electrified door again. <sighs> okay. Look at this. Excellent. Um, can we get this? There we go. Now I don't get electrified when I open the friggin' door. Oh, back here again. Okay. Where the hell do I go? Up, up. Okay. I'm gonna go up again. I just want to take my time because if there's a way that I can turn this stupid thing off before I get all the way up, I will do it. Nothing hidden. Oh shit, imp. Well, I'm gonna have to fight you. Come here, you jerk. You and your acid spray, so annoying. And your broken mirror. Here, I angry flowers. Scary face. The rictus-like mouth of the face in front of you doesn't seem to move, but the words audibly rise from the object. Speak the password for entry. Oh, hey! We know that one, don't we? Moonshadow. Password accepted. Barriers removed. Nice. The magical barriers have dropped. I feel like some kind of foreshadowing hint has been dropped as well. <laughs> Alright, so I think if you didn't find that guy, you wouldn't know about it. Alright, let's go this way. Because why the hell not? There's a machine. And what is this? Warning parchment. The sign read, Warning, do not attempt to shut down the skull regulator without attaching a ferro crystal power sink. You know what happens. This looks cool and experimental. I wonder if I can break it. I'm sure you can, but probably not without killing us all. There are lots of controls on this thing. I wonder what they all do. Uh, don't. I could just move a couple of dials. Don't. One little switch. It'll be a test, just like deactivating a trap. Don't. <laughs> Spoils for it. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. That was funny. Okay, so this... I have a feeling this is what I use to turn something off. Probably use that to turn the skull off. Once I figure out... How... To put in the things we need. Hmm...
Okay, this is cool. The manual explains how to shut down the power feed. Safely? Define save, but yes, more or less. We need a ferro-crystalline power sink. Like that weird metal wrap crystal thing the ferris golem was protecting? Exactly. With those, we should be able to shut down power to the skull. So like, will that prevent it from ki killing us all? Maybe. Hmm. According to the book, the skull has been modified and will take a long time to charge up without the regulator, and runs a major risk of an explosive overload under repeated use without it. Explosive overload? That sounds interesting. You have the instruction and the ferro crystal sink to be used in shutting off this device. Do you want to deactivate it? Yes. I don't want to take the risk of it blowing up. With only one oops and two huh, the device is deactivated. The metal wrap crystal glows, absorbing and containing power as the device shuts off. Satisfied, Dirk then proceeds to break the machine, just to be sure. It isn't switching back on for a while. There we go. Yeah, I'm not... I know what it's saying, but I'm probably not going to be that good to dance around up there, so whatever the hell. I'm just going to break it. This Dirk looked like he really wanted to break it. More imps. I'm a douche. Damn it, I hit the D button. Duh, 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 darn it. Ooh! That's an ouch. That's an ouch. Ooh, excuse me. Nope, you didn't go to sleep because you're an idiot. Blinded. Yeah, um, let's just have a rest. You're blinded too. Did I give you anything to remove that? Yes. There we go. Oh my god. Oh gosh, I can't even do that. Um. <sighs> oh crap, nuggets. Gotta mess around with these guys. These guys are harder. God damn it, they just knocked her out. Get back up, Ariana. Stop fast around. Okay, the acid spray. Those guys are nasty with that mother humping acid spray. Jeebus. Is there a safe place to stay over here? Not really. That looks fun. Oh my god. Whew. That was risky. Something hidden around here close. Might be above me, I think. Alright, let's try above me. Because this thing doesn't seem to have spatial! Deadly skull misfire. The skull across the catwalk shutters emits a sound like a strangled cat and then is still. Not again! An angry voice calls from below. Three imps fly up to the catwalk before you. I thought we fixed that, the leader complains. After killing these adventurers, we need to perform a level 3 diagnostic on the skull and the regulator. Oh, we got an imp foreman. Okay. First off, we have one blinding powder left, so let's use that. Okay. Chloe. Um. Alright, I do not have anything to do with mass effects. So let's get the cheat sheet on you. Alright. Now, everybody's going to be a tool bag. So let's start with imp number one. You. <sighs> Alright, let's do. Ride roots on imp one. Okay. So my fighters attack you. Son of a bitch. Okay. 
You need to heal Chloe. Don't mind me, guys. I, I talk through my things all the time. Now I'm going to put you to sleep. Good. You're asleep. Put you to sleep. Good. You're asleep. All right, one's down. Time to work on amp number two. I'm gonna make rivers. Um, that seems a little more important than angry flowers right now. You know what? Let's hasten Ariana. Excuse me. Better chill. Thank you, timer. Once we get rid of these jerk muffins. Alright, you're awake now. You're blinded. Everybody's awake now. Wait, are you down or up? I don't even know anymore. No, oh, she's up. Okay. Wow, I'm... I don't understand it. Whatever. I can't put you to sleep. Okay. I have to use a map potion. Damn it! Okay. So it has to be in their inventory in order for me to use that. That sucks. <sighs> All right, well, let's hasten dirt then. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, shh. Excuse me, I have to curse myself because I was an idiot and I wasn't paying attention. And I just woke you up. Like a dumbass I am. Damn it. Oh, that annoys me. Okay, so potion has to be in their inventory, so that means that Ariana's gonna lose some experience, and I'm not happy with that. Over, and that's it. Uh, all right, how much experience did you lose? Eh, 
Eh, not too much. Just look like it. Alright, so. Can we rest here? Oops, that painful. Okay, guys. I'll be leaving this on a cliffhanger, but. That was a pain in a rump, but we got through that, so when we get back, we're going to go see what that skull is over there, and possibly if there's anything else hidden, like the game is showing. So, this is Angel Terry, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye!